instance, the more drunk man struggles to maintain his balance, stumbling and fumbling with. Bro, this fucker literally looks like he's about to summon some fucking anime powers, but he's like, Wah! Wah! like that's literally what he looks like, bro. Reapers, what is good? It's your boy Laser. Yizzer and the Visor back with another scary reaction videos. You guys been loving the scary content? Shall I continue to deliver that for you guys? This is you're reacting to unbelievable ring doorbell footage. Have you guys ever had anything disturbing come to your door? If so, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoy the scary content and you just want more scary like this in the future, it's simply you hit that like button. You subscribe and you turn notifications on. All right. I also stream every night on Twitch. Let's dive straight into this fucking video. In this intriguing clip from 2018, a startling 2018? incident unfolds as a ring doorbell camera captures the unexpected appearance bro, of a woman. I can't believe 2018 was seven video. years ago, bro. The Crazy how fast time flies. The woman, dressed only in a shirt, approaching a house in the middle of the night. However, what makes this encounter truly bewildering is the sight do? of her being completely shackled with no shoes or pants. Oh, that, the that reporter can get it, bro. The doorbell camera raises numerous questions about her situation Come to Daddy. leading up to this mysterious encounter. The clip sparked intense speculation and curiosity among viewers, who were left wondering about the woman's well-being and the circumstances surrounding her peculiar appearance. Wait, what the fuck's going on? Many speculated that she might have been a victim of a crime or involved in a harrowing incident. Thankfully, I have answers for you this time around. Wait, what, bro? I don't want to go into a lot of details, but I was... Damn, cut your nails, bro. That's what caused me to ring... Goddamn fangs, bro. A week and a half ago is when a video door Razors. recorded the image of a woman wearing only a t-shirt with restraints on her wrist. No one answered, but she now said... Does she have a tattoo on her wrist, though? You know? As she also tried to stop people driving by, no one did. They were probably concerned for their own. They didn't know what... What is she holding, bro? That no, I'm night, not she was in fear for her safety, she says, afraid of her boyfriend, Dennis Collins. Oh, yeah. The average Dennis right here. If your name is Dennis, bro, I guarantee you just... You have the same personality traits as this guy, bro. I mean, look at this friendly guy, bro. He has the pedo stash. His ears are kind of like... You know what I mean, bro? Look at his eyebrows, bro. More thick than my fucking bush hair on my dick, literally. Holy shit. She was living. I believe in my heart that is not who he Hopefully he doesn't is, see his video and comes for me, bro. <laughs> it hurts me to see him bashed online. Police called it a case of sexual assault. She says she didn't leave the neighborhood for more than a day. No, I'll just decide though. That's she fucked. She says she asked Collins to follow her to Dallas because she was having. Bro, to all the ladies out there, like, I urge you, please stay safe out there. Like, I actually care about each and every one of you fucking ladies. And do not call me, oh, you're a sim, lady. You're a sim. Like, bro, it's literally just having fucking human de de decency. You know what I mean, bro? Like, to all the ladies out there, stay safe anxiety issues she says she didn't know the doorbell video was circulated around the world on social media until this wednesday when police called her parents to inform her that dennis collins had taken his own life she remembers his last text to her give my mom a hug and be happy she returned to the house today to collect her belongings and is going back to North Texas. But she also wanted to express thanks to all those concerned on social media That's for fucked. her safety. I was really touched finding out how many people were wondering if I was okay and were praying for me. And I didn't even know it, but it... That's so they fucked, the man. To make it through a very difficult time. Like, bro, the trauma, bro. Thirteen eyewitness news. The trauma must be terrible, dude. Holy shit. In this clip, we witness a disturbing act unfold at the front of a house. Bro, a masked man approaches a property under the cover of darkness. His intentions shrouded in mystery. What the fuck is he With breaking that for? Steps, Did he not get Oreos he for Christmas or some shit? He proceeds to break a pride sign that he's carrying in his hands. 
The destruction of the sign raises questions about the motive behind this. Man, act. what are you having at skills, brother? Was it they an taste act good. Of intolerance or a deliberate attempt to incite fear and distress? What do you have against the significance of the pride sign and the symbolism it represents Bro, amplifies like, the impact? Like of guys, I don't care that much about like it's people's choices, bro. Like I don't understand why people are this like offended over this shit, bro. It's like it doesn't affect me as long as you're not going up to my face saying, "Oh, do this, do that." Like do what the fuck you want, bro. Just don't start like a whole fucking stupid movement. You know what I mean? Not, not. I didn't mean it like that. I basically mean like just don't force it on people. But if you just do what you want to do, it's your choice. I don't give a fuck. I, I fully respect it. You know what I mean? I hope this doesn't come across the wrong way to some people. But I'm just trying to get my point out. You know what I mean? Because people are just so soft nowadays, bro. Like I could care less, literally. This incident. In this intriguing clip. We observe a perplexing situation as a random man approaches a house with uncertain intentions. His behavior raises questions about his state of mind as he displays signs of intoxication kind of or those, influence bro? from substances. Ooh, that with unsteady steps and disoriented movements, the man attempts to enter a house that clearly does not belong to him. That acid's hidden different, His bro. actions, seemingly fueled by altered consciousness, create a sense of unease and confusion. That acid's hidden different, bro. In Dude, this puzzling clip, I've never took a tab before, guys. A I'm might in the future. I'm dead serious. Involving two individuals who appear to be under the influence of substances. LA, bro. Their erratic behavior and incoherent rambling center around a mistaken belief that the homeowner's daughter has possession of their car. Wait, Despite the homeowner's repeated attempts to clarify the misunderstanding and assert that they have the wrong address, the intoxicated men persist in their delusion. Bro, are you a their hockey player or some speech, shit? Get some fucking teeth. And apparent confusion indicate a state of altered consciousness. Get some gold teeth, bro. It is evident that their impaired Be George Washington. and impaired cognitive function are influencing their distorted perception of reality. Be Abraham Lincoln, bro. Hey, your daughter got my car. So your daughter bring her my car, man. I should like cops for a living. What the fuck are you saying? Can I help you? Uh, yeah, uh, your your daughter got my we got uh, my homeboy's car. Bro, that boy's yeah, my homeboy's car is my car. I need my car back. Uh, that boy's gone, gone, bro. Uh, my daughter. Uh, bro, why does the other dude? Why does the other dude look like that? That proud fucking friend, bro, trying to stand up for someone. You know what I mean? Look how he's like this, bro. He's so proud, bro. It's like he's proud that he masturbated like twice in one day for the first time. You know what I mean? Look, They already told me that she has my car. Just tell her. Uh, I, I, like, what the fuck are you saying? Give us our car and everything be all right. This, I'm sorry, that that's her boyfriend. He went to jail. She got Who? That's, that's definitely the In most New York clip, shit I've seen, we bro. He's definitely from New York. The slightly chaotic moments when two men, one notably more intoxicated than the other, attempt to enter the Look at those house. big milkers! The comedic dynamic between the two individuals becomes evident as the less the intoxicated beer belly man tries to assist his heavily inebriated companion. Santa Claus went on a hangover, In the bro. first instance, the more drunk man struggles to maintain his balance, stumbling and fumbling with the- Bruh, this fucker literally looks like he's about to summon some fucking anime powers, but he's like, like that's literally what he looks like, bro. Keys as he attempts to. He's like getting back door. like that. His movements are unsteady and his speech slurred, showcasing the effects of his intoxication. The second man, though also under the influence, appears more coherent and tries to guide and support his friend through the process. Bro, I don't even know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> like, why the fuck was he doing that shit? But I have to charge. Dun, 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 dun. Uh uh. Lick it. What the f- mm -hmm. He just threw that shit back, bruh. What the fuck is he doing, bruh? He's like, like, what the fuck is that? Bro, I'm sorry, bro. You can't solo fucking Goku, bruh. I know you're trying. I know you're trying really hard doing all that shit. Daddy. Daddy, yes. He's gone, dude. Like, I'll just decide. I hope he gets held, bro. That's just... Bro, trust me, bro. Trust yourself. Drugs are fun until they ain't, dude. 
Drugs are fun until they ain't, you know what I mean? Wait, what the fuck's going on here, bro? I'm crying, leave me alone! <laughs> fuck, it's so funny, bro. Am I missing the punchline here? What did I just witness with my little eyes? I can't find the fucking hole. Oh, you can't find the hole, huh? Put hair around it. Find the hole, bro. Oh, look at the doggy, bro. What's the dog doing? Oh, bro, we got a bad boy over here, right? He's got the cigarette. Hey, bro, I've been down that road before, but fuck cigarettes, bro. If you're going to smoke, do weed. Even weed's bad, but you know what I mean? Because I've done weed before. What? Fuck is he doing, bro? Like, how do they casually just walk in, bro? In this amusing clip, we find ourselves witnessing a comical case of mistaken identity. A man, seemingly lost, approaches a house with the intention of entering. However, as the homeowner approaches the door, the man's facial expression quickly changes, and he realizes his error. It becomes evident that he has targeted the wrong house entirely. Oh, wow, bro. This is not the right house. <laughs> bro, he, he's got to go somewhere else. He, he's going into the dark, bro, like Batman. That boy did. Bro, my dog used to make sounds like that, bro. He would go like this. A woo! Like, he'd be like that, bro. Damn, it's crazy. Well, guys, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys love this scary content and you want more scary like this in the future, these are what to do. And I'll see you in the next one. Ah!